Okay, so today we're going to discuss how Faraday's law um, is the basis for which ge uh, electric generators are built. So we have this equation right here, the voltage induced equals the number of turns times the time derivative of the V dot dS. So we have a station stationary loop and we're going to have a rotating magnetic field. So as it rotates, you can see that the only, the only part of the B that matters is the y hat direction. So, because we can take b dot ds, you'll only be left with the y hat component if ds is in the y hat direction. So it continues to rotate, it continues to rotate, and we can describe this as by this function right here. So this is a sinusoidal function. Take the time derivative of the sinusoidal function. We all know how to do that. Um, if you plug this into the equation, You've got the voltage induced equals the number of turns times the um, dv dt times the area of the loop. And what you have is number of turns times omega times the area of the loop times a cosine soda function. What we have here is our generator. This is just a rotating flux inside of a bunch of turns of, of wire. And I've got a little resistor attached to it because it's going to be a very small current coming out of here. And as we all know, I times R equals V. So here on the on the screen we've got the uh, signal and as I start rotating it you can see that the amplitude is starting to increase at the signal and if we increase it even more you see that you see what happens is the amplitude gets higher and higher. So now I'm going to max it out which will be about 18 Hertz and you'll see what happens to the, to the amplitude.